pretty bad. Whoa. I remember back in the day when he was a wee fella. And now he's all like, I'm making the bed, they're fab, people watch me. <laughs> Damn it, Cook Mom, so you're in my head. Who did that? That's fantastic. No, yeah. And then, like, the next thing I knew, you were being a retarded kid going through, like, panties. And I was like, whoa, man. He's reached a whole other level. Dude, the first time ever, Vlog TV told me I was popular. It's probably actually the first time anyone's ever said that to me. I was actually pretty well known in high school, I just didn't know anybody else's names. Because, I don't know, I guess I did theatre and I guess I know my name that way, but other than that I was always like... And you remember, what's my wet dream? No, not, not that. Tokyo Hotel is awful apparently, everybody. Okay, by the way guys, Australia is a really bad movie. You would think I would say that, would you? But I did. Yeah. Bad movie. The only good th I've already talked about this. Nicole Kidman is good. I can't remember whether I've been telling you this or telling friends this. Like the lines of reality and crazy place, Cyberland, is like blurring, like shh. Like I don't remember whether I talked about how bad Australia was with my friends, or did I talk about it with you guys before? Like, it's all just blurry. It's just... I wasn't saying that it was bad, I'm saying someone else said it was bad, Miss Tokyo Girl. It could be fantastic, I could love it. The other day I did something totally unexpected. Um, I went to a random music site and I started listening to Cute is What We Aim For. And I actually kind of enjoyed it. Oh god. And you know, I actually like sat down on my bed and, and became like a 15 year old again and just listened to the to the to the to the to the music. And it was they were they were alright. I'm not very good at throwing up. I have a friend who's very good at throwing up. Like, oh, 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 I can't do it, but it sounds fantastic. It makes me happy. I'm like this. A midget was a What are you talking about midgets? What do you call the midgets? What do you call somebody who is smaller? And don't give me that virtually, uh, vertically challenged bullshit. That's not true. A little, a little person though? Like... You're a little person. Like when I walk past them, and there's like I've, I've walked past about three in New York City, which always excites me, especially when you walk past a gangster short person, and you're like, dude, that was so cool. Um, but like I don't, I just, I don't have actually met one personally. I've never been like, hey, my name's Caitlin, nice to meet you. Hi, your name's Alfred. That's fantastic. So, like, what do you do? I mean. What's that guy from that? What's that guy? I wear peas on my head, but don't call me a bee head. Bees on my head, but don't call me a bee head. Something Bruce Lee's. Yeah, Andy. We took. We hung out. Um, could he be considered a little person because he hasn't aged? He has aged, but he hasn't. Dude, that was totally weird. He was like, "Hey, you're in LA. Come over." And I was like, "Oh, well, Ben's here. Can you come over too?" And he was like, "Well, I guess we could buy that loser." And then he got upset. Because he wasn't cool to Andy Milanakis, which I love, because sometimes he's full of himself. And, um, so we went over to, um, Andy's house, and he had some girls there, and then they left, and his house is big, and but small. Um, and it was awkward, because we were like, what the fuck are we doing here? And then we went out to some party with old 30-year-old Hollywood types in like the, the Roosevelt Hotel um, and it was boring and the ladies were like don't talk to her or talk to him and we're concentrating on Andy and I was like whoa rude um, made sense but it was still rude um, and then we went up to the roof and then we got told to not get on the roof and so we went up to a different room and I stole their I stole their 
stuff. Because what the hell are they doing having a party in a hotel room anyway? Like, come on. So we went downstairs, um, and we were like, cool. And we went outside, and then these, like, these people were like, Andy, Andy, and I was behind him, and I finally, like, experienced kind of what it was like to, like, have, like, lights shining at you. And he was saying something funny, and we were just laughing. And then we went to, um, what's that cool cafe where they wear mini skirts and they have cows on the wall and they serve, like, peanut butter and... Not who it is. No, not who it is. No, no, no. It's on the... It's in, it's in LA. I want to call it, like, the Strand, but that's not... That's a hotel. Guys don't know! Come on! Come on! Anyway, it's very popular and it makes me happy every time I go there. Um, and he just kept watching the door for people to come in. And people were like, hey Andy! Hey! Hey! I don't have Andy's number anymore. Because I never called him. Like, what would I be like? Hey Andy! Hi! I don't live anywhere near you. You want to talk about... Shit? Cool. Like... No, not Hard Rock. No, it's not a lie. Because he took a picture on his camera phone for me of Harry Potter. That was cool. And he was subscribed to me, but then I guess he thought that I was a loser and eventually unsubscribed. But I mean, come on. You got Caitlin Hill loser, and you got Annie Milanakis loser. It's, I mean, it kind of balances out. I mean, come on. No, not House of Blues. Chicks. So I know, no, I know he's not a midget, but he's he's almost like one. I am bigger. What? No, I think meant size. They don't sell hot dogs. They may. Caitlin. No, not Bobby Flay. I better go. What? People keep saying my name out loud. What do you want? <laughs> No, I wasn't extra in Australia. A little bit of it was filmed in Queensland, most of it was filmed in Western Australia. I know. I do know that. I just like to tease him. I'm not giving you Okay, I'm gonna give you out my phone number ready. <gasps> Why would I ever do that? Jagman never spoke to me. I love how people come on here and they're like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna totally freak out this chick. I'm gonna make her think Hugh Jackman spoke to her. But you didn't. So, it's funny. I don't, we don't sell kangaroos, we just kill them. I would never do that to anybody. No, that's horrible. Well, there's too many roots. They're like bunny rabbits. So, we kill them, and then we eat them. Because they ruin land for cows or golf courses or something. Apparently it's appropriate because there are too many, but eventually one day we're going to be like, Where the fuck did all those poppy things go? Where? Didn't we have some in the back? Oh, we didn't. We killed them. We're the only country to kill and eat our national emblems. Apparently, I read that somewhere in the Bible. Okay, Tokyo Hotel. Can I go listen to now? Oh, guys, did you know that John Travolta's son died? Which would be sad. Wow, Tokyo Hotel are totally. Marketing themselves appropriately. What a weird looking man! Like, in a cool way. Like, they're. I've never heard of them. Wow, Tokyo Hotel is weird! 